this is a simple story, nothing unusual. We met. I offered to take them for a drive to the beach to renew an old acquaintance. I've got to take some boots back to the fire station. Really? Do they have spare ones? Saw a man wearing galoshes the other day. You don't see many of them around, do you? We used to have a cousin come and stay at our place. He wore galoshes. He reckoned it kept his feet dry. We used to go out and put water in them. He came in the mornings, his feet got all wet. They weren't much use to him, were they? I used to wear them when I was a kid. Did you? Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. You want a foot in your face? Not sunny, eh? <laughs> I wonder if firemen create fires. No, really. Goes all right, doesn't it? My grandfather fixed it up. There are seals out here. Around the point. A whole colony. We came out here once, we saw them. When was it? Oh, they're there anyway. Look. I hitchhiked along this road once. I got picked up by some guys in a Zephyr. I went along and I, I was a bit frightened, really, because the car was pretty old and was going flat out and falling to bits. Suddenly they saw this girl sunbathing, lying in a paddock. They just stopped the car and sat there and looked at her. I didn't know what to do, so I just got out and they just sat there. I thought there was going to be a bit of a gangbang or something, we so I went down in the, the road. Bush and he'd been in to get some sausages. Well, as they were just sitting there, I walked off down the road and I got a lift with this farmer and he drove past all these houses and he was tooting at them. There's no one inside, he's just tooting at the houses. Seals bark, they go. How long have you been married? Oh, about five years. you'll see the thing start to move. There, see? She's quite nice, really, isn't she? Oh, yeah. She's all right. Will it burn? I feel middle-aged, as if I never had medicines. Can you still do cartwheels? Yes. <laughs> Need to 
easy to see sometimes. Look, it's beautiful. You can make an ashtray out of it. In England, it was awful that television programs were so good that you sort of sat inside for hours watching television. Here, at least, there's so much crap on that you can go out and do something else. That's where they are around there. This office I work at, the window overlooks these tennis courts and every Tuesday these women come and play tennis. And I sit and watch them because I've got nothing else to do and you can tell what sort of people they are by the way they play tennis. Some of them are so bloody stupid. This office is pretty strange too because it's on the edge of the building and you can have the door open and not the window or the window open and not the door but if you have them both open the wind just comes and blows the stuff everywhere. How's Sarah? Don't know. I haven't seen her much lately. What's she doing? Don't know. See you. Thanks for taking us. It's all right. You don't see ships very often, do you? I'm sleepy. Salt air. Makes you tired. Who taught you to drive? My grandfather. I could never steer properly. I couldn't either, and I was driving for months, you know, with my hands at the side of the wheel, and then someone told me if you put your hands at the top, if you had more leverage, you see. It makes total sense. 